Good morning. It is day five, five, seven, five fifty-seven, and uh, it's uh, Saturday. Oh, that looks cool. Little Webbers. So it's uh, like I said, Saturday. No man, hey me. I'm sick smelling a bunny, and don't have to mow today, so that's good. So yesterday I did go by the uh, office and I grabbed the the trenching tool. So maybe I'll try to get that pull back. I'd like to get some paint or primer on that front part. So maybe I can do that so I can get it ready for. It was on my hand. I feel so, sorry. I feel like there was a spider crawl on my hand. Might have been. Wasn't the first time. Let me get to this, the shade. But it seems like it's going to be a nice day today. Got no clouders. It's not yet. And, um, I don't know. Friends making some reservations now for my birthday week and for the back half of our trip so I don't know it might be she might be doing something secret so because it is our birthday week I oh, see I got something right there I don't know what it is right there it hurts I'll sleep on that side I'm like ow I have to turn over I don't know if a cat got me or what maybe I'm just getting old that's possible because I am um, but yeah, I'd like to try to get doing something on the house. I wore my painty clothes today. Got my painty pants. And, uh, I don't know if I will. We'll see. All right, what's well, about 921? Um, I saw that I got a, had a voicemail from my GoTo Connect, so I thought, well, maybe I'll check that out. And there was a, there was two calls from ADT Security. And then two voicemails that were like six seconds long from a Charlotte number and it sounded like a police officer talking to another police officer and said something like any description other than suspect is carrying a big stick so I'm gonna ride down to the office and see like what's going on because that sounds a little a little hinky you know because usually when the alarm goes off it's because a bird's in the garage or something dumb but I'm just gonna go check it out all right, so came to the office, didn't see nothing um, at all. And so uh, on film, Ben's vehicle's here. So he's, I guess because of the downpour, he wanted to grab a couple of jobs today, which is fine. Uh, he's up at, the, it was up, parked at the shop. So I called him because I saw that I could tell by the you know, the, the, the water on the concrete, they ain't been here long. And he got here right at the time the cops would walk around the building. So, you know, he, I guess he called Chris and Chris walked down there and looked at it, but there wasn't nothing there. Nothing's broken. So I don't know if like, you know, the alarm just got set off and the cop was walking around the building and when he was calling the office, he was taking another call. I, who knows, it could be anything. But bottom line, nothing going on there so anyway so I'm heading back to the house it's about uh, 950 and uh, I think Corinne's got to go in at 11 so I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into today I'm I really want to get into something with the farmhouse but I don't know yet so we'll have to see how how I feel but I think I need to scrape the the eaves with the heat gun, unfortunately, and get that primed. And uh, God, I don't want to do all that. But gotta do it. All right. Well, it's about eleven twenty-one. Um, I haven't done anything on the house yet because I went ahead and ate, watched Loki, and realized that uh, every one of our calls we have a voicemail set up. So. I set that up real quick, and um, so now we do, because I was like, oh, we don't have voicemail, it just beeps, so 
I'll show you what we did. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Um, the call comes in and I can you know, just drag and drop things from over here and I can pick different different greetings. So it's pretty cool that I can save it from, from home. So anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, so uh, did some getting kind of got a late start in the house, but getting some stuff done. I'll show you what I did. I've dug a trench kind of going all the way to the footer, all the way down. I got a wire brush and I scraped all the main stuff off of it. Now I'm going to use a cleaner and do that and then spray it down. All right, well, it is four fourteen. I never look first. Um, so I got uh, first coat on the wall. I think it looks pretty spiffy. So once that dries, I will got some other little cracks to caulk up, which I ordered some some concrete caulk. I'll do that, and um, yeah, then I will uh, once it dries and set the coats on it, I can kick the dirt back in, and it'll look neat, I guess. So looks a lot better. Oh, country life, you gotta love it. All right, well, it's 4.31, and I uh, got an email from Lowe's saying that some of my order is ready. Because I got, um, who's this? Let's come out my driveway. Let's see who it is first. Pause. Oh, it's mom and dad. Cool. All right, well, it's now 7-11. Talked to mom and dad a bit, obviously. Um, which is fine because really haven't had a chance to talk to them very much about what's been going on and what we're doing, things like that. So we're gonna go to Lowe's real quick and grab that stuff. Um, and then when I get back, I'll feed the dog. And I really uh, didn't feel like I got a lot done today, but you know, let's be honest. I mean, I'm, I've got a pretty full plate during the week, so. You know, it's, uh, I can't really beat myself up over it because I'm, I'm doing a lot and had a lot of late days at the office, things like that. So it is what it is. But, uh, anyway, so we're going to get some, pick up some materials. Um, the edger thing, like, I don't know if I told you, but I'll tell you again, cause I like to repeat myself sometimes. Um, I bought this metal edging to kind of make a flower bed and I got a edger it's like it's called a half moon edger I think it's what it's called and basically it's just so you can you know dig a tiny little trench it's just like a it's like a shovel but it's flat and it's half moon then I got an email and it was like oh we can't give you your edger till Monday so I don't know so I may or may not get tackled on the edging tomorrow i may just wait till i get the edger and do it next weekend so i still need to scrape and stuff so i got stuff to do anyways we're about to lose all right well it's uh a couple minutes later i did the uh curbside pickup and it was like dumb easy like <laughs> i just literally pulled in it took me longer to find the where i need to go so i parked hit number two and like took my seatbelt off and then here he come out the door it was crazy that was that was incredible huh. all right we are at home we we'll take the dog out and um ooh, see what we got but let him use the bathroom first he probably has to go potty but the foundation looks pretty decent for one coat I think stay with me and uh, but yeah, it, was, it was a nice visit with mom and dad I think um, there's just there's so much like shady stuff going on at that office and um, I just don't know like 
what I don't know is first off why I've got this on my left arm there we go and uh, it's just I don't know why like I don't know if like it's not being thought about or if it's intentional and like they know they're doing it I don't really know but uh, dad's always been a live out of the business kind of guy because he's like Uncle Sam didn't get my money you know he's one of those guys and uh, come on bud come in and I get it but at the same time it's like you can't have like everybody and his brother living out of the same company you just we don't make that kind of money so you know I don't have an issue with you know him using a gas card for the work or work paying for a phone I mean he started thing it's it, whatever I don't care but I don't really feel like I should I don't really feel like you know I should pay for like Wolfpack should pay for my cell phone and all that and the other so even though I use it for work clearly but not right now <laughs> using it to talk to you people but uh, I don't know it just doesn't seem right to me and maybe one day we'll be at a point to where I can justify it but until we get to there I'm not gonna worry about it but yeah but I I'm aware of it I guess is my point is if you make 50k and your cell phone gets paid for which is a hundred dollars a month and technically you make uh, 60 51k roughly you know 50 51 2 whatever but uh, what are you doing crazy dog <laughs> it's just so weird so anyway so I count that as like income even though technically I'm only making 50k on paper um, and then if you add in insurance on top of that and in add in car insurance and add in a car payment I mean you're technically making closer to 70k not really 50k so I don't think he looks at it like that he just looks at it like he makes a flat rate and I don't know so anyway whatever is getting handled and I told him today I said listen I said, I'm not really going to try to really push and grow this thing until it's a hundred percent mine and then and then the brakes are coming off because if something happening tomorrow heaven forbid uh, you know he's got a sibling share or whatever of it so until it's on paper and ink's dry i'm not really going to mess with it so i'm just going to kind of eke it along and uh i talked to a buddy of mine that i work with uh and run at rapids he's been in florida for a while now um doing really well i think he's working for orkin but he's getting that itch to do something too so he's another one we get along really well he's a fantastic salesperson um super smart and i think you know I, why only own one pest control company why not own two so you know, if he wants to branch out on his own, you know, because he's wanting to be, he's wanting to have multiple places between here and Florida. So, so his dad's place is in, of course, North Carolina. So I'm like, you know, I've got a North Carolina license. You got a Florida license. We can make this work. So I'm like, keep talking to him. And I don't know. It's just, it's, it's time to make adult money, I think. You know, not be not worried about things. Just enjoy life. Black attack. You want to go inside, honey? She does. So, anyway, so I got the edging. I'm gonna, oh, I can show you that edging. So it's this metal edging. You break off little stakes on the end. Got some caulking, and uh, yeah, we're gonna maybe mess with that. All right, so basically, this is kind of what I'm going to do. And then I've got the edgers here, like that. You put those down. Hey, bud. Kind of in the way. <laughs> you could kind of see it if he wasn't in the way, but then I could do another one, like right here. 
that. And then I can put my stepping stones and gravel, whatever I want, decorative rock. So it's like a little, little makeshift sidewalk. And that'll keep the grass from encroaching into the flower bed and it keep it encroaching into the rock. So I'm not gonna have a very wide flower bed on this side, as you can see. I'm gonna keep it about right there, all the way down. And then I'll have a little path in the middle and then I'll do the same uh, with that house over there. So this way I can put my edger down and build this up. I'm not gonna plant any, pl I'm not going to plant any plants yet till I get that done because I got to scrape all that and I don't want like the wood chips getting on top of the plants and stuff so I can just probably do the edger and then maybe do um, like a little bit of ground soil debark something and then when I get that up there done I can figure out what plants because I kind of want Corinne to decide what plants to put there um, but yeah so that's kind of what how we got it going but I'm gonna feed him now because I think he's ready to go all right, well, it's nine o'clock and uh, kind of went rogue. Got some stuff done. Edge piece entered. So it's gonna be like that. And then I'm gonna do another one on this side. So I can have a separation in the grass and the walkway. So, yeah, pretty cool. It was hot today, but uh, Got a little bit done in the farmhouse, got caught up on my stories, and uh, made a little bit of difference here. So, you know, the foundation wall looks pretty good, even though it's only one coat. Um, so I can kind of see how it's going to look. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited. I think it's, it's going to be dope. Um, I'm probably going to wrap it up here because Corinne should be coming home sooner than later. Maybe another hour or so. And uh, just need to kind of chillax a little bit. Even though I've kind of been chillaxing most of the day. But, you know, we'll take what we can get. See you tomorrow. Bye.